Welcome to this tutorial introducing you to the Firebird Graphics Editor. When you launch the Firebird Graphics Editor, this is the main program control page. Looking at the program, you can see across the top we have a conventional menu bar. The file drop-down has standard file controls to open your image files or select a recently edited file. You can create a new Braille file from scratch or save your work or exit. Under Edit you have your traditional undo and redo. These functions will go all the way back to the beginning of the program being opened and redo will go all the way forward to your last um, edit. Under Page Sizes you can add a custom page size or edit an existing page size. Under Image Tools and image filters. These are both a set of tools used to work on your original graphic image. Now the Firebird Graphic Editor can open a number of different standard image formats such as JPEGs, GIFs, BMPs, and certain SVG files. These are all conventional graphic image files. The Help is also available to you and it's context sensitive. Under the Help drop-down, we have an About Us page, which has the current software revision levels. It has links to our website, to our store, and to the Firebird Graphics Suites update page. The General Help, which as I mentioned before, is context sensitive. Offers you your standard content page, an index. For example, here you can explore the various file types that are compatible with the Firebird Graphic Editor. And it is context sensitive, so for example, say you want to know more about image tools, simply highlight the image tools menu, press F1, and it will take you directly to the image tools section of the help. This is functional throughout the program. The final entry under help is a shortcut to the shortcuts page which gives you all the keyboard commands that let you do all of these menu items directly from your keyboard. To the left here we have a window called the source image. This is where your graphic file will be opened and displayed. To the right we have a page image file display. This is where the dot pattern will appear. And down below we have an image control box. In this section, you can select an embosser that's compatible with the Firebird Graphics Editor. As of this release, Enabling Technologies manufactures three embossers compatible with the Firebird Graphics Editor. And if we highlight the drop-down, you can see the Cyclone, the Trident, and the Phoenix. Cyclone is a single-sided embosser, the Trident is Interpoint, and the Phoenix is a unique single-sided but um, standard braille and high resolution tactile graphics imaging. We'll select the Phoenix. In this drop down you can select the resolution of the final graphic image you wish to produce. In this case 20 dots per inch is pretty conventional. 25 is a little bit better but again it depends on the image content. This drop down is where you would select the paper you're using. For most images we like to use the 11 and a half by 11. And finally, the Edit Braille Image radio button calls up the second part of the Firebird Graphics Editor. In this main section, you edit the original graphic image. And let me just, for an example, open an image to give you an idea. Here's a set of samples. Let's select the ACT math test that's displayed. And here you can see the uh, original image. This came from a standardized testing worksheet. To the right, you can see here the uh, interpretation in Braille dots. And once we work on this image, and we will in the next section take you through how to actually refine this and open it in the Braille editor to add Braille labels, to fix any issues with the uh, conversion. But this looks pretty good. Once you've gotten to this stage, you simply would press the edit Braille image and that will bring up the editor for that braille section. 
This concludes just the introduction to the program. In the next section, we'll show you how to refine the graphic image and actually come in here and change the labels and manipulate the finished product.